A special microphone has been let down onto the seabed to eavesdrop on the many schools of dolphins that swim near Dalston Head in Dorset. It's the first time in the world this type of experiment has been set up. Right, well, that orange cable is the actual signal cable that comes back from the um, microphone. And it's tied onto a leaded line, so it will sink onto the sea bottom. And on, right on the end is the uh, same line through some hydraulic hose to protect it through the shoreline. A framework to carry the microphone. It's uh, quite massive to um, hold the microphone down on the seabed, that's all. This is the actual hydrophone. That's the hydrophone. There's the hydrophone. Yeah. Just the, the microphone itself. And it's on a, a vibration-free mounting. And then that's mounted on a piece of uh, PVC and then held down from the top plate by that distance, which is about 10 inches. What road, man? Yeah. 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 Don't go. Keep going down. Go on. Go on, Bernard, take it down. That's all right, boys, don't go so far. I think so, although they could have a bit more, I suspect, over. We've been watching dolphins at the country park here for five years on a regular basis, a dolphin watch group on the cliff tops. We really need to know a lot more about uh, the, the way the dolphins move, why they're here, um, how many there are, because we can only watch during the daytime. We've no idea how many move around at night. The hydrophone, costing £4,000, is the first of its kind to be set up on a permanent basis. Other temporary projects in Wales and Scotland have shown the sounds made by the dolphins, tell researchers where the animals are, the numbers, and even what species. We're trying this for the very first time. Um, we've got no guidance. Um, we, we know what people have done elsewhere, but it's, it's nothing like the sort of uh, thing that we're trying to do here.